There it is. Cleveland Welding Company frame clunker. I built a couple years ago and it was stolen and was recently uh, returned to me. I tell the story in another video uh, you know, posted the other day on Instagram and I reshared it on uh, YouTube and a guy there asked me for a follow up on the bike. <clears throat> When it came back to me, it was all oversprayed with black, including the forks, which are a real bummer because they were in perfect shape when I put them on this bike. <clears throat> and it was missing this uh, clip here. So I replaced that, and I took the paint off, mostly, with some uh, 4 out steel wool and lacquer thinner. Created this cool patina here, which I prefer. The black paint job that those guys did, it left, they had a whole bunch of runs in the paint and just looked like shit. They did mask out quite a bit. But I figured I'd do this video, show you the details of this bike, <coughs> excuse me, talk about uh, where these parts came from. This uh, crank set and the XC pedals, ah, as well as these levers, which are the heavy duty mountain bike levers that you actually need the little insert for, for the cable. They all came off of a vintage Raleigh mountain bike that uh, had a crown fork, which I still have on it. I picked that bike up real cheap and the bummer was the rear end was smashed. The guy didn't even know it. I'd been hit by a car, I guess. <clears throat> so uh, rear wheel's garbage, but the rest of it was good. And now the handlebars everybody likes, these are these high-rise bull moose bars. They, um, they come on a bike called the Nishiki Pacific. And uh, it came in a single gear and five speed. So keep your eyes open for those. They come with a snowflake sprocket and some uh, 7X hoops too. These wheels, which are Araya, you know, your old school 7X 1.75, the wheels probably the brakes and the grips <clears throat> maybe the shifters they all came off of a Schwinn Sierra you know from the 80s and the derailleur which is you know this is the good one it's the aluminum Suntour GT the VGT I think I found that in the dirt you know, my pal's backyard. <laughs> you got the uh, old school Varsity, Schwinn Varsity derailleur. Um, you got to do some finagling with that, some filing of it to uh, get it to work, to reach all three rings on that sprocket. It takes a little bit of work. Quick release clamp obviously came off of a specialized. Uh, seat post was made by a guy named Del Coffer. Uh, he's in the clunker group. It's a 4130 Chromali. The saddle, kind of special. You guys remember Lars in Switzerland? He passed away a couple years ago. You know, I have my ups and downs with Lars, but he was a good guy. And uh, we did a trade. He sent me this saddle, and I sent him a fork. And the saddle was all kind of beat up. I had to actually construct this. I don't know if you can even get a shot of this because the light isn't great out here. But I had to put a uh, bolt in here make that work. And I, I figured it out. works good. So the, the clips here, the kooky plumbing, if you're curious, um, <laughs> right here and uh, right here. What that's all about is when we did the cable stops, we didn't think about the curves in the frame. And I just hated seeing those cables going straight from point to point. I thought it looked horrible. So uh, I might redo it. <clears throat> if I was to redo these in the future, any bikes with curves, I think you should just have uh, rings uh, brazed on that the whole cable housing could slide through to, so it follows the curve of the frame. Uh, the little hand grip here is because there's a boss under there that uh, pinches my hand, digs into my grip when I carry this bike upstairs. The fork no longer really rebounding like it did when I first put it on. This bike had some rust. I think it sat outside for a while. So I want to take this apart. 
I'm hoping it is serviceable. I was YouTubing that the other day, and uh, there's a fork very similar, but the top caps don't match, so we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> There's your old school cable stop, or not cable stop, but you know, keep your cable from fraying. You just use an old uh, nipple off of a wheel. Gives you that uh, period correct look. <laughs> and that's it, man. So that's the bike. It's very cool. It's got a long top tube on it. The gussets, uh, I designed the gussets, made the templates, and had them put in place by Chad Logan, Mr. Tick Bicycle Products. Uh, he did all the frame brazing on it. It's, it is, it's as cool as it looks, rides great, super comfortable. I mean, holds the trail on a downhill like you're on rails. That's the bike.